never seem to be. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a two-part makeup tutorial. It's going to be a transformation from day to night. I've been getting a lot of requests on this, and when I think of um, day to night makeup, I think of something really quick and easy that you can do when you get home from school, and if you're going out to a party or dinner or something, you can just add on to the makeup you already have. So that's what the tutorial is going to be. It's going to be just, the day part is going to be really casual, simple, you know, the makeup that you wear for school or work, and then the second part is going to be the night, which is just adding on to the makeup you already have you don't have to take anything off so it's just supposed to be really simple easy and I will mention all the products that I use in the video so I hope you guys enjoy so starting off with a clean face I'm gonna take my favorite concealer by fresh and just apply that underneath onto my dark circles with a crease brush my favorite girl. I love and now I'm going to use my pressed powder by CoverGirl and just use any powder brush that you have to lightly apply that. And I just didn't know what I was missing to you up in my eyes. So now I'm going to fill in my brows using a brow pencil. This is a totally optional step, but I just like to do it because I have pretty light brows, so I like to fill them in a little bit more. And now use a primer to make your shadows last all day, so I'm just going to put that all over the lids. Now taking my e.l.f. palette, I'm going to use a light pink eyeshadow with an eyeshadow brush. And use a crease brush with a medium brown shade to put into the crease and just feather it out very slightly. And also I'm going to use a dark brown pencil and line about halfway in and also on the tight line. And after that I'm using a synthetic brush just to apply a white shadow into the inner corners. And now I'm going to use this really shimmery highlighter with an angled blush brush and apply that above the cheekbones. And for some reason I seem to use the same mascara in every tutorial, but in case you guys were wondering, it's the Buxa mascara. Now I am going to use a medium neutral pink toned blush and using the same powder brush that I used for the powder, I'm going to apply that onto the apples of my cheeks. Now for the lips, you can basically use anything for this, but this is one of my favorite everyday lip colors. It's a purple pink lipstick. My favorite girl. If you'd like, you can just leave the lips like that, but I'm going to apply a little nude light pink lip gloss just to add a little bit of shine. And now you are finished with the day look, so we're going to move on to the night look, and for this you can just leave on the makeup that you already have. No, I don't even know you. So for night, I usually like to have a little extra coverage, but this is a very light coverage foundation, and I just want to warn you guys in advance, it comes out white, but it just blends into your skin tone, so don't worry about it. And I'm just going to use a stippling synthetic brush for this. So one of the most important steps right after foundation is to apply pressed powder because what this is going to do is just mattify your face and I'm mostly going to use this in the T-zone. And I'm also just going to touch up my brows a little bit, um, maybe fill them in a little bit darker, but basically just fill them in the same way. And I'm going to take a dark gray, almost slate gray eyeshadow and with a small contour brush I'm going to put that into the crease and also basically lining the eye. 
So using a smaller eyeshadow brush, I'm going to use that same slate gray and just apply that a little bit underneath the lash line to make it a little bit smoky. And I'm also going to use a brown eyeliner and line the upper lash line. No wing or anything, just lining. And now I'm going to use this quad by Maybelline and a very shimmery white to put into the inner corner. And using that same mascara as always, I am going to apply that to the lashes. And for the lips, I'm going to use a color called Lilac by Revlon. And that's basically what it is. It's just a lilac, kind of purplish colored lipstick. And I'm going to take a clear gloss. Doesn't really matter which one, but just any clear gloss. So I'm also going to use this hot pink blush, and this is pretty pigmented, I'm just going to tap it out, but it's pretty pigmented and very concentrated, so I'm just going to take a little bit and dab it onto the cheeks. And that is the end of my tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please comment, rate, subscribe. Tell me if you like these voiceovers and I will talk to you soon.